Yeah. Here you go. I already started. Bring it out. Yeah, you say you got scripted. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, we was talking, right. we was swapping about, um, you know, most I said when he started to come, how it was chaos. Well, that, I mean, what else can we talk about? Because that's the main hot topic. Oh, that's all there is is chaos. Chaos, man. Is it? Well, first of all, hot topic. <laughs> well, he already started a camera. First of all, we out here on Christmas Day. <laughs> and we's out here on Thanksgiving too. Well, we don't give a goddamn spirit, about Christmas. Though, yeah, we don't give a fuck. That's the spirit, man. Most I got us out here condemning this shit. Yeah. Over my wrinkled garment. Yeah. New Year's Day. Right? And then, yeah, New Year's Day. That's not even a new year. They try to say the new year starts in the middle of the winter. When truth, the new year starts when, you know, when you get around springtime, shit starts growing again. Yeah, but we out here on Christmas saying fuck Christmas. Fuck your Santa Claus. Fuck your Christmas carols. Fuck your Christmas tree. You know what I'm saying? We don't care about none of that shit. Dude, what did you about to bring out? You say you had a script or something? I think it's second day of the second day of the just turned to Pretty short. Even if it's still fire. Get my Bible. That whole chapter is bad. B-O-E. Second Ezra. I'll go ahead. Second Ezra is 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, when I when I've told thee before, good, keep, then good. shalt thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest would begin to visit the world which he made. Yeah, because yeah, soon the most high and his son, they're gonna visit the earth. Like when you read in the book of Acts, the first chapter. It said the Lord got beamed up into a cloud. He got beamed up into a chariot. It's what they call a UFO. And then the angels, they told the disciples, he's like, why y'all amazed? He, he gonna come back the same way he left. So that's the way the Lord gonna come back. He's gonna come out the cloud with legion of, legions of angels, thousands of chariots. The Lord got thousands of chariots. Hold, let me get a scripture for a precept. What you got? Chariots? Or anything, what you got? I got that preset for a chair, you know. I'll go ahead. This is what you mentioned, the one with the Lord when you got beamed up. Okay. Uh, hold that there, bro. Hold that there. Uh, uh, second uh, this, uh, this is Acts 1 and we started 8. But you shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and, and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Hey, well, this is the uttermost parts of the earth right here is up in America. And we are witness. Me out here, we testify, bearing witness to the truth. Keep going. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. So they said, while the Lord was done talking to him, talking to the disciples, while the one you called Jesus, when he was done talking to the disciples, they said he got beamed up into a cloud up in the sky. Mm, mm. This is literally. Mm. They didn't say, you know what I'm saying? He actually went up into the sky, got received by a cloud. And when you know, when you see that word cloud, a lot of times in the New Testament, the Old Testament, it's talking about a chariot. It's what a so-called UFO. Because a UFO, there ain't no such thing as reptilians and gray aliens. All those UFOs, those were piloted by the angels. That's why they had that song called Swing Low Sweet Chariot coming to carry me home. That swing low sweet chariot was talking about the chariots of the most high. Mm. Oh, go ahead. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? The same Yahawashai which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Yeah, so the Lord said he gonna return to the earth the same way he left, and that's out of a chariot. He coming out of the sky. Out straight from outer space through the atmosphere to the earth. I got a script, another precept before you get back to the Ezra's. Psalms 16 and 18. 
Oh, hold on, my fault. 17, Psalms 68 and 17. The chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. Because you can read in the book of Exodus on Mount Sinai, the Most High had a big giant chariot parked right on top of Mount Sinai. And he told the Israelites, he's like, if you come too close to the to this mountain, you're gonna die from you know from the flames. Right. Plus the, the plus the mountain was had earthquakes. Yeah, you and know, quake. You know, you know when you're around mountains and landslides and shit, man. You can read about that in the I might as well get it real quick. Yeah, but Exodus the twentieth chapter. Everybody knows about the Ten Commandments. It's the hot movie. And what the Exodus the twentieth chapter? Was some bullshit. Oh, what's up, homie? Yeah. What's up, man? What's going on, brother? What's happening, man? What's up? You don't like dressing warm, I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got the fire right here. That keep it warm. That's how I used to do, man. When I'm going around some, I'm about to go visit a girl, man. I dress the easiest way I can take everything off quick, man. Oh, you talking about it? Yeah. Nah, if I thought you was playing. No, I heard you opened it. I got that. I got the situation with um, Elijah and Elijah. He tried to call you out on some shit. I'm trying to get the fire. Hey, 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 keep that uh, dog dirty laundry off the camera, man. Don't do that some more time. <laughs> That's called dirty laundry. Man. I got a scripture. <laughs> he over there fucking with him. I got a scripture for it. Uh, we was talking about them chariots, though. This is going to back up what we just said. How the Psalms talk about Mount Sinai. And, uh, it ain't really know. that cold out here today, though. No, nah, it really ain't. Oh, yeah, this is the Exodus, uh, am I at 20 and uh 20 and 18 this is right after the ten commandments and it says all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking mm -hmm. when the people saw it they removed and stood far off That's right. and they That's said the yeah and they said unto Moses thou with us and we will hear but let not, not God speak with us lest we die because yeah, at first these devils Israelites looking at Israelites was calling on Moses no, they was actually calling the Most High. We want to speak to the Most High. We want the Most High to come instead. But then, when all that shit started happening, oh Moses, will you speak to us? Yeah, because not the Most High. Yeah, because at first they was complaining about Moses. Mm -hmm. like, we don't want to hear you, Moses. Right. You claim you talk to the Most High. Let's hear the Most High. And then the Most High talks to him. Now they want to talk to Moses. Yeah, he didn't have to talk to him. He just shows up and there's he scares the shit out of him. You know? <laughs> he just show up. I can imagine the sight, man. I can imagine the sight. I mean, I can't believe it, man. That movie still got me pissed the fuck off. Well, you seen it already? Yeah, it's terrible, man. It's fucking the worst movie I've ever seen. <laughs> you worse than Noah? One of the worst movies I've ever seen. It can't be that bad, can it? Listen, movies, when I say it's one of the worst movies I've ever seen, I believe you, it's man. one of the worst movies. Oh, he had us watching some movies you know that he said they, he thought were good and they were terrible. They didn't have a vibration that it was about Israelites. <laughs> they didn't have no vibration of nothing. That it was just some... Did it show the Pharaoh died or did the Pharaoh live? No, nah, the Pharaoh lived. See, they always make it those the Pharaoh lives in all the movies. Mm -hmm. You seen the Prince of Egypt? He yeah. almost check this out. Y'all want me to talk? I was going to it. You know, I've been studying the Exodus the all week. The Most High didn't split the sea. Right. It's some um, oh, it some caused the water to go one way. A natural disaster. A natural disaster, and all the water went one way. And after so much time, something happened, and the water started coming back. Well, you know, that's a lot because the scriptures, we might as well get it. Well, what, kind of, what kind of shit is that then? If, if, if <laughs> one, wa one water went one way, what right. kind of disaster Because a meteor that? came down and hit, right? And then it caused the water to go that way, where the meteor hit. That's what you're saying. Yeah, go is, ahead. Is there biblical proof that a meteor hit to make the water split? Oh, it didn't no meteor hit. Down. The scripture said that the chariot was right Chari there. It goes the into chariot. it. Right. It actually goes, let me just get it, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's the best way to oh, explain it. Oh, I can get something. it. It's, and Paul oh, quoted it in Corinthians. It's crazy, man, how these people are intentionally trying to debunk the Bible. You know, they're doing it, they're doing it, um, what's it, uh, subvertly, upvertly, they're doing it subvertly. Subversively. Yeah. They being subtitled. Right. Like exactly. the serpent. Exactly. But that's it's, Hollywood, it's, though. It's all about debunking the Bible. That's Hollywood's all that's ran by the Jews. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Right, right. Jew motherfuckers. Most High was a little kid. Yeah, with an English accent. Right. It was a little fucking kid, man. It was a little fucking kid, man. Like he was a man. You know, you could, uh, imagine if you give a little kid power. It was like a kid, uh, 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 it was like a uh, rebellious child. That's who the most I was in the movie, a rebellious child. Just 
Man. When it's script, Jesus in there? Huh? They put Jesus in next to this? No. Well, you know the Most High was in, in the high. burning bush. The Father. Oh, okay. Heavenly yeah. Father. When the scriptures tell you, you get the Most High got a voice of many waters. Yeah, the little kid walks up while the bush is burning, while Moses is passed out on the ground because he got hit with rocks. Oh, we just read the part. <laughs> oh, shit. We, <laughs> we just read it, Exodus 20, and said the Most High that they was afraid of his voice. Woo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They said, we want to talk to Moses, not the Most High. That's right. So he didn't sound like no little boy. That's, that's just retarded, man. You know, you know that's blasphemy. Right. The whole movie was blasphemy. The whole goddamn movie was. Oh yeah, I heard uh, Christian Bale. He said that Moses. He said after he studied Moses for, right, right. and played the part, he said he believed Moses suffered from schizophrenia. He was a schizophrenic madman. Yeah, he's a Levi. I don't know why I keep thinking he was one of the um, that's right. I don't know why I keep thinking. And in all these movies, they always show. I'm thinking of um, Samson. Oh, okay. You seen the uh, what's the, the cartoon one they had? Yeah. What was that made by DreamWorks? What was that called? Uh, what's what you talking about? What movie? What, what's that? The, the oh. Exodus movie, The Prince of Egypt. Yeah, I've seen that. You know, I ain't seen that yet. But you see, seen that one. Well, you seen that, they show you that the Pharaoh lived. They try to say the Pharaoh was Ramses. He was on a rock, and Ramses Yeah. yeah. And the fa Ramses was not the Pharaoh. Who the hell you know is Ramses? Who is that? Ramses. That's somebody that they made up? No, no he's a real Pharaoh. But, but the Exodus was way before Ramses. So they lie about Egyptian history too, just to debunk the Bible. Cause they say, uh, oh, it mentions the city of Ramses in the Bible. So they'd be like, oh, see, Ramses, that proves Ramses was the Pharaoh. But you can read about the time, during the time of Joseph, the t during the time of Joseph, the, uh, the, the Pharaoh gave the Israelites land to live in Goshen in the city of Ramses. And that, that was during the time of Joseph, way before the Exodus, 400 years before the Exodus, they was living in Rams, the city of Ramses. So the city of Ramses. Under that, slavery? Well, yeah. Well, first, they was under Joseph living good. When Joseph it, died, it did, that's yeah. when the, um, the new king that came in didn't recognize him. Didn't it. recognize him. He said, fuck these motherfucking Israelites. Because you, 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 know? you ever hear of, uh, you have, ever hear of Imhotep? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Imhotep is Joseph. Didn't you um, find out you were supposed to Oh, talk that's why I was talking. I'm okay. talking about it right now. Okay. Imhotep was, was uh, he's the one who built the first pyramid. You see, ever see the Step Pyramid? It was one of the first pyramids ever built. It's, a, it's called a Step Pyramid. So, you talking about the damn little train? No, well, it's similar to that. The Israelites built that too, which is proof they're Israelites. Exactly. Because that pyramid, that technology came from Israel. Because anyway, Imhotep was Joseph. He was under the king, uh, the Pharaoh, jo Zoser. And shortly after Zoser was when the Great Pyramids was built under. Uh, What's his name? Uh, Cheops, whatever you want to call him. That's his Greek name. But anyway, the point I'm making is the Israelites built the pyramids, bro. We keep talking about aliens. <laughs> aliens built the pyramids. That was the Israelites built the pyramids. Well, the, they, they, all that all the information is out there. Mathematical, uh, uh, they said it, it ain't no mathematical proof that any human being can That's just a food, because he know people ain't gonna go and that's made out of study that. That's just made out of stones and bricks. Right, and it took mathematics, yeah. people were masters of mathematics to measure. Yeah, measure. You know, right, right, to, right, right. You, you know yeah, I, right. I, I ain't gonna go more into it, but to, right, just to yeah. do the measurements, to, you know. Hell, man, the, the foundation, it took brains to develop that foundation for them here most a little bit. The, you know, it took somebody with some knowledge to find a spot that's, that can support that type of foundation. Because that, 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 those pyramids is the heaviest built monuments on this planet Earth, you know? They don't last longer than everything else it's ever built. Still, yeah, it's yeah. still there. Them goddamn New York skyscrapers <laughs> will crumble before the pyramids. Way, yeah, yeah. And, the, right. and actually, the pyramids would look way better right now if they, because they got, uh, they cannibalized them motherfuckers. Because sure the pyramids used to be covered with limestone, and they used to be white. Yeah. Until the people living in a nearby town what, in Cairo, when they came and they took all the stones off the pyramids and built houses with them. You know what I'm saying? So, 
If it wasn't for that, they'd be in way better shape than people didn't fuck them up. Yeah, right, right. The insides too. They would have robbed them of all the gold and the jewels and yeah. you know, they were literally putting dynamite to parts of it. Yeah, and the <laughs> Great Pyramid, they blew some of the, back in the early, yeah, the, some of the early explorers blew that shit up with dynamite. Napoleon came too and did a lot of boat patrols. Yeah, Napoleon, he fucked all kind of shit up. You see the nose blew up the Sphinx? Uh, yeah. That was in Poland. Oh, he did this? Yeah. Yeah, the Sphinx was built by Israelites too. Right. The Sphinx go back to, back to the cherub. You can read about cherub in the Bible. That's some Israelite shit. Uh, the motherfucking half lion, half man. You got the cherub. There's cherubs on the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> there was, wasn't there? Yeah, that's all Israelite symbology, man. Let me read this. This is Exodus 1 and 13. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage and mortar and in brick. And in all manner of service in the field, all their service. Oh, yeah, because before Joseph, too, before Joseph, the Egyptians were building everything out of mud bricks. But he's the first one that brought in the technology of using hewn stone. Go motherfucker granite going to the rock quarry. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and so Joseph was, was given the hookup. <laughs> yeah. Plus he saved uh, it was Joseph who I think who had the vision yeah. of um Green Right, of the corn, the famine, mm -hmm. the famine. Yeah. Seven yeah, years, he, seven years right, of famine. And, fa and he hooked Pharaoh up. Right. So Pharaoh so Pharaoh returned the favor, you know. That was a wise Pharaoh in a way. Man, they got the archaeology too. They done found the uh Big ass giant grain pits that they built right by the Oof. step pyramid where they stored all that grain yeah. for the seven years. They got they, they done got archaeological proof. Yeah, and they were giant too, weren't they? Yeah, the huge. Pits. Yeah, you see the movie The Ten Commands, the old one, when uh, Charles of Heston. Oh yeah. You know, I gotta feed these people. He, come on, you you know, grabbed a couple of them. They went to the, the, the thing and busted it open, and all this grain came out, man. It was, Literally was covering them up in the movie. And that's how they got, that's how Egypt got rich, all that gold Egypt got. Because <laughs> before Joseph went, they didn't have riches like that. They might have had a little gold. Mm -hmm, but not like when Joseph did. I got proof for it too. Joseph hooked them up with that wisdom, man, that knowledge. Remember, we're the children of Israel. You know, there is nobody more got more wisdom than the children, like Solomon. Solomon wasn't a Moabite, he wasn't an Edomite, <laughs> you know. But he was the wisest man to ever live on earth. Oh, we we I, have wisdom and knowledge yeah. in the country. Other nations can't compare to me. I got a scripture too. Uh, remember I told you, you know, like in that movie, uh, what's that movie, the Charles Heston one, they try to say Ramses was the Pharaoh in that movie too. But we know Ramses wasn't the Pharaoh because they got Ramses' mummy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they get, he's one of the most famous mummies of them all. He got a big ass hook nose. You ain't seen that? Uh, King Tut's mummy too. They got King Tut's mummy. They got a, uh, but, well, so we know Ramses ain't the Pharaoh because of this. Look at this, Psalms 36 and 8, uh, 15. But overthrew, hey, actually. Hey, boy, look, look, look. I told, I told you Leonard was going to be out here. What's up, man? Here you go, there you go. Keys Island ain't open go. this time of year. That's twice, by scoffing. That's twice I summoned him up. He must be like a, like an evil spirit. We gotta summon him up. Right. We seanced his ass out here. Now, right before we came out here, I was like, watch, Leonard gonna be out here. What's up, man? I'm always out here. How y'all doing? What's happening? I'm always, I'm just, uh, I guess y'all serious. Christmas yeah, of Day. of course, man. <laughs> Come yeah, I lost my phone that your number was in. So. Serious oh, really? business. Uh, we I may was look looking like for we're doing it. foolish right. things, which is scriptural. But I didn't say it was foolish. Business. I just said, you know, I'm not actually we're wasting we're our time. Foolish thing to be doing. Yeah. Really? It is, you know. It is. You talking about? It really is, you know. Oh, you calling it foolish yourself? Well, well in the way it is. It says other people is foolish. You know. Oh. It says that preaching of the cross is foolishness to those that perish. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, say that again. <laughs> <laughs> I love the scripture. Though. Oh, hold up. Right before you came out, we talking about the Exodus. I was about to bring a scripture out just real quick. Just for the camera. Uh, this is going to prove that the Pharaoh died in the Exodus. You ever watch some Exodus movies? They always show that Pharaoh lived. Really? Ten Commandments. Like the Ten Commandments. Uh, you the, ever seen Ten Commandments? You seen Prince of Egypt? You guys, I have a disease. Because you old school, though. Disease. When you were younger, like when huh? you were younger, like your teenage years, you was a teenager, late 70s, right? Early six. Like Everybody early watched Ten Commandments. I was seventy-eight. Oh. I was sixteen and seventy-eight. Right, right. Like so it, you know, I used you to watch. I can't watch parents. biblical dramas anymore. 
Your parents didn't watch it either? Yeah, they watched it. Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm thinking you've seen it because we always watch what our parents watch back then. Really? You know, that's why I know so many about, I mean, all that old school shit, man, because I watched it with my parents. I know, it used know? to be fun, but. Mm -hmm. kind of I never, you that. know. Really, you I never wanted to watch what I wanted to watch. I wanted to watch my dad. My, my dad yeah. was always watching nah, interesting shit anyway. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you did, though. Uh, my dad to. watched number Clint Eastwood and John Wayne. All the good shit. Yeah. You know, all the good shit. Uh, I, I, well, TV was better back then. It was. It was way better back then. I was I raised on the think so? Because I think TVs so. was re TV was yeah, real yeah. back then. But it was so sensitive. How could it be real? Well, because today they got the blue. Reality TV is not interesting about and edifying about reality TV. Everything back then was more realistic. But everything is too politically correct now. Right, so. you're right though. It was censored, but it was still more yeah. realistic. It was more realistic. You know, like them really? old, them old ancient, all the Bible swords and sandals movies. Those were the shit. Ooh, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like the Ten Commandments, Ben Hur. You that seen? Oh, uh, you yeah. seen? Uh, you seen the one? What's that called? Uh, about Nero? What's that movie about Nero? Got uh, hold on, man. All right. Quo Vadis, you ever yeah, seen yeah, Quo yeah, Vadis? Yeah. <laughs> you ain't seen that? Nation. What, Q, Q, U, O? It's about the Emperor Nero, Quo Vadis. And they show you how he was killing Christians, feeding them to the lions. Uh, when was Caligula made? Caligula, oh, that's, a, that that's in the 80s. You oh, seen Caligula? Was too? That was in the 80s. When they were alive. 1982. Yeah. Roddy McDowell. Yeah, Roddy that. McDowell, that's the dude right there. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. You seen Caligula? Oh, that's the best. I'm telling you, man, you miss, there's a lot of bad man, movies that's like that a porno, bro. That they actually made, man. You you wouldn't even believe they made that movie. Now that shit was not censored. But it was it was it was historically accurate. What year did that come out? I think 82. It got Roddy McDowell in it. I remember yeah. him, yeah. yeah. Dude from uh uh what's that? Uh Poseidon Adventure. Yeah, he Clockwork was, Orange. Yeah, Clockwork no, Orange. Clock. No, that yeah. was the sun. Clock no, that was Ryan McDowell. Right? Ryan I thought McDowell. it was this Malcolm McDowell. Oh, McDowell. hold on, Malcolm McDowell. Malcolm McDowell. That's who it is, Malcolm McDowell. My fault. You right? All right. Oh, that's a, they, they, that's father and son. Yeah. Oh, Ryan McDowell. That's a dude oh, from Planet of the Eight. Oh, What's that? Ain't that a dude from Planet of the Eight? Ryan yeah. McDowell. Yeah. Oh shit, they related there. Yeah. Okay. So that's a Hollywood full of family. Yeah. It's a um, it's a Masonic thing. Yeah, that's Just it. like Masons, cops, firemen, and hires of Bush. They hire your family only, man. Oh, really? family, yeah. Just family. In, in a top position. Well, you know, you be there for 20, 30 years, you're going to get a good position. You're going to have a position to be in a position to bring your family. Yeah, but yeah, even just, if you don't get a top position, your family is still the best references you can use. Oh, right? yeah. You know? Charlie Sheen and uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Martin yeah. Sheen. Yeah. That's the best. What's that bitch? Angelina Jolie's uh, father is a famous actor. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Lenny Kravitz's yeah. His mom was an actor. What was that bitch from 90210? Uh, oh, Tori Spelling. She's the Aaron Spelling daughter. Right. Yeah, that Jew motherfucker. So they control the whole fucking world. You know that's Jewish. Jewish. Hell yeah. Can't tell. And she was ugly too. <laughs> oh, that bitch Kelly from 90210 was hot though. I used to watch that show. You used to watch that? 90210? Back when it first came out. I was in middle school. That was before they was calling it a soap opera. I was in like the eighth grade when that shit came out. So you just watched it for one year? I thought it was the cool kids. So, so boy, yeah, that shit was a pop with Luke Perry. That shit was popular. So, so, yeah, after after you found this, because you didn't watch that anymore. So, yeah. right. yeah, hey, hold on, let me get back to the scripture, bro. This makes you fucked up. I ain't gonna get the scripture out. This is gonna prove that the Pharaoh, we talking about crazy shit. Oh yeah, it's edifying. The, uh, it's all edifying. This proves the Pharaoh died in the Exodus. All the movies lie, they'll try to say he didn't die. They'll try to say the Pharaoh was Ramses. And they so got Ramsey's. They got Ramsey's mummy in a museum. Who was it? Then? Who's the, who was the pharaoh? Shit. In my personal opinion, I believe it was me. Probably it was, it was one of the pharaohs around the time of the, when the pyramids was built. The Bible doesn't tell you who. They don't was. name him by name. They didn't want to give him no kind of honor. Right. Yeah, right. Right. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I like that. That's right. <laughs> no love. No love. Uh, Psalms 36 <laughs> right. and 15. Oh, uh, only start at 14. Actually, let me start at. 11. And brought out Israel from among them for his mercy endured forever. With a strong hand and with a stretch out arm for his mercy endured forever. To him which divided the Red Sea into parts for his mercy endured forever. And made Israel to pass through the midst of it 
for his mercy endures forever. But overthrew the Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his mercy endures forever. That's the point. He said he overthrew the Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea. The Pharaoh got killed. So right now, them bones is uh, covering the algae. <laughs> they cherry, they cherry yeah. took down there. You know what I'm saying? Because bones are the they ain't gonna disintegrate. Just you know, because of the water, they, they actually they water will preserve shit, won't it? But as soon as you pull yeah. it out, it starts. To, uh, to, they like they found a lot of boats in the water, like Viking boats. As soon as they pulled it out the water, it started decaying. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Let me ask you. Oh, really? Let me ask yeah. you a real, a legitimate question, real quick. And this is what a lot of people try to come to me with and debate about. They say that. You know, when Cain killed his brother Abel, right? Yeah. He was, I guess he was led astray, he was uh, passed out or whatever. Was How death. was he able to find a wife and be able to multiply? There was already make... people out there. But I thought when Adam and Eve was out, I thought that was the only two people that was there. And they were, yeah. they, 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 they were many people. Yeah, there was already many people. Yeah. That's why the serpent was there in the garden. The yeah. serpent ain't a snake, that was a person. When we first came, when the first earth people started, you put it this way. Two people just didn't walk out the water. Many people walked out the water. Yeah. Because all, all yeah, life comes from, was created from the water, the dumb water, without life. Right. You can get that. Uh, they walked right out the water. That's the second Ezra. Yeah. There was probably millions. Walked out the water, just like a tadpole, you know? Just walked right out of the water. Just multiplied right out the water. That's how the Most High did it. Just like a, a, a tadpole. That, it's, well, it's, no, let me use, this is even better. Sperm. We shoot that nut out. It ain't just a hundred in there. You know what I'm saying? There's millions of millions of them. He said second answer is six. You're right. That's the second answer. All kinds of credit. What's up, dude? But Adam. Yeah, that sounds like some evolution shit. No, no, no there's it, no. It may sound like it, but it's not evolution. No, it's not the most hard. It's just. But, but the question is, what do you think scientists got the idea that all life comes from water? Right, right. right. They, they right. put their own because spin on it. Because water's in all living creatures. Well, check right, this out. Exactly. When, when, water's when, in all living creatures. Exactly. Water's in all living creatures. When you're developed in your mama's um, womb, you when you're in that placenta, you're wrapped in water. And her water right. breaks. You know, and the water breaks. That baby yeah. is in there for nine months breathing that in, like a tadpole. You know, it's actually in water, you know? That's why when the baby comes out, you can immediately put that baby in some water and it can know how to swim, naturally. Immediately, you can just throw it in water. So man. how come I don't know how to swim now? That's cause you, you lose it, you don't use it, you lose and it. And that's funny you say it. that, you know the Spartans? When the Spartans had a, a newborn baby, they would put his ass in a bucket of wine and said if he drowned, he was not worth it <laughs> to live. Uh, yeah. The Greeks did some shit like that's that. bad though. Yeah, that's bad though. That. They were a warrior nation. They did. Yeah, they was the, the founders of eugenics. Israelites. <laughs> Israelites. You said the first were Israelites. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. The Bible tells us they was Israelites. Right. You, I thought we told you that. You didn't tell me that shit. Oh, man, man, there's so much shot. Man, what the heck? Man. I'm telling you. Man. Aren't they Greek? I, I can prove to the Greeks are Israelites. Greeks are why, why, why do you think they well, got an alpha? Well, that's a question. Why what? do they why do they write with an alphabet? <laughs> that was a Hebrew word, alphabet. The Greek alphabet is Hebrew. Why do you think Paul was teaching all those Greeks? Because they're Gentiles. He didn't want to say Jews literally. Those are Israelites, bro. Oh look, look. Yeah, the Edomite Greeks too though. To get technical, we're all so you saying the Edomites are Gentiles too? No, the Edomites are Gentiles. I'm saying two, two, Alexander the Macedonian spoke Greek, lived among the Greeks, but he's an Edomite. I can prove that he's an Edomite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so you telling me that the kingdom of heaven comes You said they're Gentiles, they gonna live say, like the Israelites? No, 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 no. no. What I'm saying is, listen, there's two groups of Gentiles, right? Yeah. Listen, there's a natural Gentile, yeah. which yeah. are the other nations. Yeah. That's a natural, they're naturally Gentiles. It's gonna go, hey, I got a scripture for him, since we talked okay. about the Exodus. And then there's the other Gentiles, the Israelites that are living amongst those Gentiles that are living in a Gentile state, you know, that, are, that, that don't accept being an Israelite, Yep. That's not living in the land of Israel, which we're technically all Gentiles. Yeah, we're technically all Gentiles. Because we're not living in our land. 
Okay? It so means, remember, there's two sets of Israel. Gentile just means foreigner. That's all it means. That's all it means. Say, well, in Hebrew, it'd be goy, uh, got, well, what did you get the word goyim from? So that makes it more bison than Well, gentle really comes from gentile, which means gentile. people, actually. They're natural gentile. Like gent, gentlemen. Who is that scripture? Have? You, you know, how do they say people in Spanish? Ain't it like uh, gent? Who knows? Something like that. Give me that scripture. We were once gentiles. Well, we gonna get that too. I got this one's even better. Mm. All right, I'll get no. That's First Corinthians twelve and one. But hold up, bro. Read this. 1 Maccabees 12 and 21. Now, read it. You said this, this, this proves the Spartans is Israelites. 1 Maccabees 12 and 21. It is found in writing that the Lacomedonians and Jews are brethren and that they are, are of the stock of Abraham. The who's the, who's the Lacomedonians or Spartans? That's why the Spartans, you watch the movie 300, they got L's on their shields. The upside down V, that's a Greek L. It stands for Lacomedon. And this tells us the Lacomedonians and Jews are brothers. Who you got from? First Maccabees, 12 and 21. That's, now get this one. Uh, First Corinthians. Where's Corinth, where's Corinth at? Corinth, Greece. Corinth, uh, First Corinthians 10 and 1. First. Since we talking about the Exodus too, this goes right with the Exodus. Read it. This is now this is Paul talking to the Greeks at Corinth. That's in Greece. Read that. You hear and, we already said. Not only that, the whole New right. Testament was written in Greek. So the Greeks gotta be Israelites. That's right. Read that. First Corinthians ten, verse one. Moreover, brethren, I will not oh sorry. I will not that ye should be ignorant how that all of our fathers were under the cloud. All of our fathers were under the cloud. That's that UFO that was just departed the Red Sea, what we was just talking about. Right, but before it was Greek, it was ancient Hebrew, correct? Yeah. Exactly. Right. What, so what? How was the Greeks able to translate if they weren't, if they were, if they spoke Greek language and not Hebrew? Like, they oh, were, they have scholars, bro. They know. I mean, the Israel's just right there. They used to go back and forth on boats. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Read that again. That's a good question, though. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a very good question. That was a very good question. But you guys, back in them days, you had learning. They could, you had Greeks who could read Hebrew. They could read cuneiform. You know what I'm saying? They could exactly. read hieroglyphs. Paul was the best example. You had Greeks that could read hieroglyphs. They wrote whole history books on ancient Egypt. Mm -hmm. uh, read that. Yeah, Paul's a good example. Like you said. Paul, he, yeah, Paul spoke Greek and Hebrew. Latin. Latin. He had to have studied all those languages. I bet Paul, Paul was a wise man. He could, he probably, he probably studied Judean form too and hieroglyphs. If you really go in the spirit, you I mean, know come he on, was he was a scholar. If we studying that, what do you think he's studying? This is before or after Jesus came to him. Well, was, well, he studied his whole life though, because he was mm -hmm. he was raised up as a Pharisee. Oh, that's right. That's right. And Gamaliel, one of the wisest men in all of Israel, was his teacher. Oh. Just stepped up his game. Yeah, because he was a he was a highly <laughs> Paul was a highly educated. Unlike the disciples, who come from like so-called common folk, they were kind of dumb. They wasn't they weren't educated. Yeah. Paul was educated. Right, right. That's why the scripture actually tells you about how he gave his wisdom to 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 the, to the dumb. Pretty yeah. much. Now we can get that. That's in Matthew you know? 11. Because they there's how they, how these fools back in the day used to actually confront the prophets like y'all motherfuckers. What school you go to? You ain't going to no damn college. You know, he said, you know? yeah, he said, yeah, because the Lord had hit it from the wise and proved it and <laughs> revealed it under babe. I'll go ahead and read that. Let's get this out. Remember, this is the Lord's wisdom, man. That's why we're making them look stupid. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. First Corinthians 10, verse 1. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all of our fathers were under this cloud and all passed, all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses. <laughs> I'll stop right there. They was all baptized under Moses. He said, all of our fathers. Mo this is Paul talking to the Greeks. And he said to the Greeks, all our fathers passed under the cloud through the sea. So he told his brothers over there in Corinth that they actually walked through the Red Sea. <laughs> Keep going. And, and we're all baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did, and did all eat the same spiritual meat and did all drink the same spiritual drink. But they drunk of the spiritual rock that followed that followed them. Yeah. And the rock was Christ. Did um yeah. the Edomites, Moabites, uh, any of the other nations, did they go through the sea with the Israelites? 
He, uh, uh, they try him, then they got drowned. So you know he's talking about nothing but Israelites. Right, right. Living, yep. living yeah, amongst them. Yeah, because all the, all, the, all the Greek colonies were started by Israel. Oh, my God. Hey, get uh, Judges 5 and 6. Well, actually, get that Corinthians we about to get. I got it right here. First Corinthians. Get Judges 5 and 17. Because you had, you had a, you know, you ever, uh, you ever read the Iliad and the Odyssey? Heard about Homer? You know about Homer? You heard? You seen the movie Troy? You yeah, seen Troy, Troy, right? Troy. You know about Troy? Everybody knows about the Battle yeah. of Troy, the Trojan horse and all that. But some of them Greeks were called Danans. It's like talking about the Danites. Yeah. Ain't that? And didn't uh, Abraham exile them or something? Not Abraham, but well, Isaac. Well, that's, that's, that's one of those. That's one of those myths. That's one of those myths. Ain't that true though? Nah. If it, all of Israel got exiled, bro. I thought I know he had like I think he had two sons or or he well, Dan, adopted two Dan, people. His brothers um and he and he and he did was, him dirty. And that's how he ended up in Egypt. Because Dan was one of the it was the second biggest tribe next to Judah. Mm -hmm. that's right, how but they said that Dan made the deal with Esau about something. Uh, no, no, no. Well actually, what? actually, well, actually all of Israel learned the ways of the heathen. All of Israel got exiled, got scattered. All of them. Eventually. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, eventually. I read that judge. Later on. <laughs> yeah, but in the book it says Israel made Dan no longer part of the 12 tribes. You know, it didn't, that's, that's something people added in. It don't actually say that. Where, where they get that from is Revelation. Where is he at in here? Well, he's on there because spiritually the number 12 got a certain vibration on it. So He's mixed in all. He's mixing with the other tribes. Ephraim, more Ephraim. Yeah, that's what he's saying. With the with the northern tribe, with Joseph. Because the number twelve is a spiritual number. Right. Because originally there was only twelve tribes. Okay. So the number twelve is putting out a spiritual vibration. So that's why when it is dealing with a lot of numerology and shit. So that's why when you don't go home and listen to them videos of the numerologists, people that's using numbers to debunk the Bible, because <laughs> there ain't a lot of that. Yeah, you have that too. That'll the shit out of you. And it'll frustrate you to the point that, ah, oh, we got Bible. But my question is, if you two saw two brand new scriptures, but you've probably seen all the scriptures, <laughs> would you interpret them exactly the same? Yeah, exactly the same. I might say it but the scriptures. through my spirit, but it's going to be pretty much the same way he's going to say it through his spirit. But it's gonna be we yeah. may word it different. Sometimes. Yeah, we got you got different. Plus, we got different spirits. Yeah, different spirits. Right. But I know what you're saying because the, the, the thing about the Bible is it's confusing. It's like no matter what book we're gonna read from, it's like they're all in agreement. You know, what I'm saying from the New Testament in agreement with the Old Testament, the Apocryphal in agreement. Let me show you something. What you got? Okay, First Corinthians one. Oh yeah. Um, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, cause we all, yeah, we all want one vib same spiritual vibration. Yeah, cause I know you always interpreted him, and you know, um, I like, that's what I like to talk a lot. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> even as this is First Corinthians one and six, even as the testimony of Yahweh Shah was confirmed in you, so that ye can come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shah, we shall also conf confirm. You unto the end that ye may be blameless in the day of the Lord your house shall. Most high is faithful by whom ye were called unto the fellowship of the sons of your house shall and our Lord. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord your house shall, that ye all speak the same thing. You all speak the same thing. That's why we ain't gonna have people out here like I don't celebrate Christmas, but he celebrates Christmas. <laughs> and like, I'll be cool with that. We all brothers, we cool with that. Or I could be like I believe in a virgin birth, which I don't. But, look, right. and, but he, he don't believe in it, but I believe in it. We, we can't have conflicting viewpoints. Right, right. What do you mean you can't have conflicting viewpoints? Because that's, 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 that's the truth. This is the truth. The truth. Wait a minute. Um, there's, the scripture says there's no lie of the truth. There's no lie of the truth. You know, you can't. They're not compatible. So that means why you out here preaching, you guys have to be all in agreement. Yeah, if you're not, right. in, agreement, not in agreement, it's the spirit. Yeah. Well, you got to be out here with the same spirit. Yeah, the same spirit. The same right. spirit. We got to be in agreement, though. You can't be having one guy teaching one thing and another right. guy. Then that causes confusion. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. They right. don't need no goddamn confusion. That's it's like a, Shakespeare, though. It's difficult to understand. Mm -hmm. When we first started coming in this, man, we still had a lot of the bullshit we learned before the truth, right? Yeah. And and, it, and, and we learned through uh, the, being together and teaching and studying that what to get the hell out, throw out. Yeah. No, we learn how to take the garbage out. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So yeah, it's good when you the garbage. I mean, the shit that's in your mind. <laughs> The bullshit like shape shifters, cause you got we all. I don't know if you believe. You believe did you believe? At one time I did. Man, like before two, I learned the truth. Man, I thought Nabooru was coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did too. I ain't gonna lie. Hell yeah, man. I did. You know, yeah. so you learned how to throw the garbage out and stay with the truth only. You know, oh, you really? cause you learned the truth. The truth is multiplied. Uh, I can't even say a thousand times because it's more than a thousand times in all the wisdom of this world, man. I can't even explain it. You can't even put it in words, man. <laughs> you know? All right. Just a, a fraction of what we know about this book, man, is way more than what these people know about their uh, aliens and Nibiru's. Yeah. And, and they, they, they know, and, like a lot of these people talk about UFOs. Yeah. Well, you see with all these documentaries, they all, they all quote the same scripture in every documentary. Mm -hmm. They don't know half the UFO scriptures we know. <laughs> they, they ain't really <laughs> no, studying, they bro. Have. They're parents. <laughs> they, they, they don't, they don't. Just repeat sure. them about like uh, Ezekiel's. Saying. That's all they that's ever. The only one they that's know. the only one they know. That in the wall of Jericho, they believe that. Yeah, you know some people. Yeah, that's that's right. Alien technology that brought the walls down. Yeah, that's a bad I'll show you another Jericho, thing. Don't you shit. know there's there's more mentions of UFOs in the New Testament than the Old Testament. Woo. And they never they never mention the New Testament. But wait, they don't actually never. they don't actually say UFO, right? Well, no, it, it says cloud chariot. Terrestrial song. This is terrestrial song. Well, it means well, terrestrial yeah. and celestial. That's some terrestrial is Terra, which means yeah, Earth. Earth right. Right. You know, all the planets got ter Terra on it. Right. Yeah. You know, all the planets, you know. So it's it does mention so terrestrial that, and celestial. See, that's the thing about them shows. Them, them ancient alien motherfuckers. Yeah. They had to see the Jews is behind that because they're antichrist. That's why they, they'll talk all about these UFOs, but they'll never mention the New Testament. And this is like the Lord got beamed up into a chariot. You know what I mean? They had never mentioned it. Never, ever. Never. They had never mentioned it. Not one. They'll talk. I, read it before, I think before you know. Yeah, we just read it, right? Yep. The Lord went up in a UFO. You know? Let me get another one. He was beamed shit. up like to bring me up sky. They said he got but received. They watched you go up there. <laughs> yeah, said, you read the book of Acts, and Acts the first chapter. They said he got received by a cloud. I'm going to read it again. So it ain't under that alien shit with some ships. You know, that well, little I mean, disc shit, right? It ain't it's, no, it's a light. It ain't no. No, it was an actual ship. It's a ship. It's, it's a ship. actual ship. It, it, it know, ain't like just, no nuts and bolts made out of. We don't uh, know exactly what the shit's made out of. Uh, it's made of spiritual. Yeah, some spiritual, spiritual matter. You don't know what that shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, spiritual exactly matter. You can't explain. <laughs> yeah, you no, those are made, made, made out of shit and wood. They disappear. They, wood. they go through walls. They go through water. I don't know. Cause they, they, they go to the bottom of the oceans and don't watch. You know the pressure, the water, the pressure. We don't know. I mean, you can't explain what they made up, man. You know, I mean, you can't explain. It's silly to even speak on it because just like when. I, th I think it was Paul who died and he was saw heaven. Yeah, he did. And, he and, saw that. And he yeah. said himself that it's it's unlawful of me. He didn't speak of it. Right. It's unlawful of me to even speak of what I see. Yep. You, That's got to be a group of Chinese people. He saw something that is he going to be breaking the laws, lying, bullshit, explaining it. Yeah. <laughs> so he can't speak about it. Because right. you can't speak. Man, just like you family, the kingdom is going to bug. It's like it's, be incomprehensible to us right now. The kingdom of heaven, which is going to be established here on earth. I mean, the ancient world was bugged out. You know? A motherfucking a giant with six fingers and six toes eating people. That's bugged out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And that's in the Bible, right? right they the don't Bible found, is true, isn't it? it is. I just know you see they Bible. found skeletons of giants with two rows of teeth, uh, six fingers, six toes. Yeah, it's not just a story, it's a history book. It's a history yeah. book, that's right, that's right. But it's don't the sharks have two rows of teeth? Well, that's what they, some of them, I well, guess, some, some they, found, they found skeletons. Water creatures. Mm -hmm. they, they big as hell. I mean, this they say giant, they giant. Big. They ain't not just 10 feet tall, <laughs> 20, 30 feet tall. Yeah, you gotta go big. The world was a freaky world. They said he found giants in the United States, uh, right here in so Ohio, Utah. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Who was created first, the dinosaurs or the cavemen? Dinosaurs. The dinosaurs. Oh, the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs. Who are dinosaurs or dragons? Dinosaurs here for? Huh? Or were they? Were they here just for decoration? No, nah, they were just how the Lord put it in order. How, that's how He just made it in order. He People, put the beast here, the Leviathan here yeah. first. He put them here first. 
It don't mean nothing. It don't mean we but should bullshit was, them. When do you believe? What, 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 what year do you believe the world was established? Let's go back. Let's go back twelve thousand years ago. Let's go back twelve thousand years. Twelve thousand years. Let me get that. Twelve to thirteen thousand. Somewhere around there. They say scientists can tell how many years like a tree branch is about. No, no, they can't. Like when they cut it, they can look at it. You can you can tell a tree how long it's been there by the. This, when you cut it, the circle. it circles inside here. Yeah, yeah. The circle is a year. Yeah, there's no there's no tree with rings to go past 12,000 years. That's right. They said that too in some, in some artifacts, in ancient artifacts, they can tell it's been thousands the, of years. But even the bugged out thing is, uh, it, there's no records of anything to go past 6,000 years. But the time of the flood, but the time of the flood is around about, around about 6,000 years ago, wasn't it? Right, right, right. What do you think? Something like that, yeah. So pretty much, this world is just short. Mm -hmm. We just live in a short state. Yeah. Remember, it took 7,000 years for all this to be for the sun, the planets, the earth, the animals. It took That all took 7,000 years. Seven? They're talking about, they're East, talking about millions of years. Okay, no, no, but no, check, no. Let me check this out. Yeah, 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 bring the but check this out. This first. But check this out. Part. If yeah. evolution is true, though, if evolution is true, uh -huh. then how come the hell mathematics, writing, mathematics and writing popped up at the same time uh architecture mathematics writing what else uh advanced forms of agriculture all these things popped up at the exact same time how do you know that? just out of nowhere how do you know that for archaeology huh oh, but you go back to ancient sumerian archaeology yeah, the same time. By, by around the during the time of the tower of babel so somebody, all the, so all the somebody writing, told you that so you believe it that's the facts look it up bro <laughs> I can't believe that. Can't all pop up the, at the, the same time writing mathematics Architecture, it all popped up at the same time. Where? About <laughs> roughly six, well, you talking no, about I didn't say when, I said where. Oh, in the, the, Israel? the Fertile Crescent area, Mesopotamia. See, see, at, architecture. At, because after the, the flood, because map. after the Remember flood. I my map, I should have brought it. Because oh, after, oh, yeah. Math That's, has to come before be architecture right now. because. He could have showed off. Math is part of architecture. You didn't get a frame yet? True. Uh, but it's I all the same so shit. I huh? measured it. I can't all the find same the right measurements. Right. They're always too big. The frames are... Are you thinking about it? <laughs> oh, no, I'm just thinking, I was thinking about... I gotta tell you, because after the flood, they laid it on Mount Ararat, which is in the southern Caucasus Mountains of northern Zagros. It's right up there. It's, just, um, um, it's, right, it's right on the bottom. The Turk it's right by Armenia is where it's really at. Arme yeah, the, the very tip edge is Armenia. And then they came out of there, and they, some people went down into Mesopotamia, and other people went down to Canaan, Egyptians went over to Egypt. Oh, that's when the Lord separated them in divisions. Yeah. Is this a flood with Noah's Ark? Remember? No, after the flood. Right after the flood. After the flood. Y'all, here you go. Uh, the earliest, according, uh, archaeo uh, what's that website? Archaeology.com, I think it's called, or .org, I'm not sure. They had an article. They said the oldest traces of a uh, of wine of a of a vineyard <laughs> was in Armenia. Well, around Mount the Mount Ararat area. That's crazy. And it, it dates back to the time of the flood. And, and it tells you how Noah after the flood, how he after going through all that trial, he made a he vineyard. He planted there. grapes. Uh, Moses. Well, we could play with the dates how many years ago. Yeah, the dates. You, the, the date that Esau plays with the dates like a mother. He's like a mother, yeah. Can He's I, good I, at let that. Let me ask you this. He's no, good at that. Who was all on the ship? Uh, uh, Moses. Moses. Uh, I, mean, uh, I said, Mo said Moses. I said Moses. <laughs> Noah and his wife. Uh -huh. okay. His three sons and, and their, wives. their wives. And their wives. Three sons. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Yeah. So there was nobody else when, uh, there was, when Ham left. Remember, remember, the, book, remember the movie Noah? How yeah. there was a stowaway who was trying to murder Noah. A stowaway? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How many uh, animals did Moses right, have on the one ship? Of the daughters, remember one of the daughters uh, was pregnant too? <laughs> I give people with that joke at work all the time. <laughs> like, Moses wasn't on this ship. Oh, yeah, and they lie about that too. They'll tell you, like in school, or not, they don't teach you in school. Even your Sunday school, the TV shows, everybody says that they only took two of each kind on the boat. Yeah, let me ask you this. Yeah, that, that's what I want to get to. Because, um, you know, the world is, 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 is big and, you know, each land got its own separate you know, part of my seed and all that stuff. So, yeah. my question was... You know that guy in the back of the bus yeah, right there, Leonard? Yeah. My question was... You know, Jim right there? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, why you at that? 
he lives enough, at the Y. They used to. They're all, all, every Many time animals got created was just in one place and they got on the ship. Or, now, I mean, that's like, let's say there's deers here in America. How the hell did two deers come that's from what we believe. All the way over there? And before the flood, the earth was, uh, that's where I get that myth of Atlantis from. Before, before the flood, the earth, it's kind of like where we at now. Everything, technology is real advanced. They're doing weird shit. Before the flood, it was some advanced technology. You know what I'm saying? Because you have that's where the stories of Greek mythology come from, like minotaurs, centaurs, half human, half bulls. Mm -hmm. They was doing all kind of weird shit before the flood. They had high technology. King splicing. And plus, the Earth was bigger. There wasn't as, uh, as much water as there was as there is now. You look at a globe now. The Earth is. This proves the flood happened. The Earth is over two thirds water. You know what I'm saying? You, so you believe the water came, came from the meteorite? Or no, the or water came from the deep. It came from inside the earth. Well, this thing, well, the reason why I say that is because I guess some science proved that I guess it's like ice or whatever, the rocks that hit the... Actually, the, the last report, I made a video on that YouTube channel. On your Rex Science? Unit? Yeah, on that channel. I posted an article where scientists discovered that the earth rele can, releases water from underneath. I mean, the most high had water come from the heavens and from the deep, the fountains of the deep. And during the summer, you ever come outside and walk in the grass and your feet is wet? Yeah. It didn't, when it didn't rain, that water came, that came out the water. That came out the ground. That didn't come from the water. Oh, because before the flood, it said it never even rained. Dude, what? That what? comes from what? the sky. No, well, it can too, though. No, no it's um, so You're talking about the water vapor? Something? But it said, but listen, that doesn't come from before the, the flood, it didn't even rain. The, right. the dew watered the crops. That's right. Came There's the moisture inside of the earth. That but you're right, though. The grass, when it doesn't rain, comes from temperature changes. That well, of course it does. It comes from the sky, too. Right. Yeah. There's a combination of the majority exactly of that water. The majority of that dew is off the uh, It's from the ground. Though. There's a lot. All, all the, most of the water that's in the sky came from inside the earth. So at one point it was in the earth. No, I posted. The earth. I, this is an article came out on the internet. Look it up. About, I forget. There's, there's oceans underneath the earth Ocean. that release water. Well, I don't, and that's there's natural current when you read the and yeah. the scientists just discovered this in the past six months it's or scary so. down there right? it's still it's, it's so it's deep you can't it's, it's, like a, uh, it's like a world down there it's a double world down there that's, that's all oh you're talking about hollow earth now yeah we can go into that it, it, it <laughs> talking about what what, what is that journey to the bottom there, of the earth yeah. so, so so journey yeah. to the cool center of the earth right you never you gotta think of it this way the most high didn't destroy not one creature that was on this earth they're in hibernation yeah, it was some hibernation. Some of them been shrunken into some of them lizards, but some of them bad boys in hibernation is living in the earth. Just some like, of them walking around. Just 